A suicide bomber has attacked a foreign military convoy in the Afghan capital, Kabul. Police say at least seven people were killed in the attack in the city's industrial zone. Many more are reported to have been injured. Our correspondent, Jennifer Glass, is in Kabul and she joins me now. Jennifer, what do we know about this attack? We know that it was a convoy of uh, NATO uh, forces going through eastern Kabul. The attack happened at about 8.30 this morning. Now that's when Afghans are heading to work and to school. Uh, eyewitnesses tell us that children are among the injured and the, uh, the Ministry of Health as well as the police tell us at least six Afghans uh, have been killed and 35 injured uh, in this attack. Four hours later, ISAF ISAF, NATO's force here, says it is still investigating and has given us no numbers on any casualties, although the, the police chief here says that the two cars in the convoy were heavily damaged. Jennifer, any claim of responsibility or any idea who is behind the attack? We do. Hizbi Islami, that's a Pakistani-based group that opposes the Afghan government as well as the NATO force here, has claimed responsibility for the attack. And they say that they will continue attack on NATO forces and any Afghans who support them. Now, their last attack occurred here in Kabul in September of last year. In that attack, a female suicide bomber uh, rammed a convoy carrying foreign workers and uh, 12 foreign workers on their way to the airport in the early morning were killed. This latest attack... Uh, Afghan officials say killing six Afghan civilians, injuring at least 37. They're in hospitals across the city, and we're still waiting to hear from ISAF as to whether there have been any dead or injured when the convoy was attacked this morning. Oh, that's our correspondent Jennifer Glass joining us from the Afghan capital. Jennifer, thank you.